We're going to find the constant term in this expansion. So we'll start with 8, choose R, 2x to the 8 minus R, and negative 3 over x to the R. Notice that this R, this R and this R match, and that these two terms, 8 minus R plus R always equals 8. Okay, so now we're looking for the constant term, which is the term that all the x's canceled, which means x to the 0. So what I care about now is this piece and this piece. Those are the pieces with x in it. The other pieces will make up the actual uh, coefficient. So we'll just ignore those for now. So now we have a x to the 8 minus r times 1 over x to the r. I'm just ignoring all the other numbers. This is the only piece that matters right now. Equals x to the 0. So that's x to the 8 minus r times distribute the r. So I have 1 over x to the r. And I'll bring it up. So x to the minus r equals x to the 0. So that's x to the 8 minus 2r equals x to the 0. And now I can just, if these two pieces are equal, then their exponents must be equal. So I'll just get rid of the x's. So 8 minus 2r equals 0. So r must be 4, which sort of makes sense because uh, these powers need to be split in half. So I have x to the fourth and a divide x to the fourth for everything to go away. Okay, so I'll just simpl uh, simplify everything. So I have 8 choose 4, 2 to the 8 minus 4, and negative 3 to the 4. You might be asking yourself, why am I leaving out all the x's? Well, I know already that the x's will cancel, x to the 0. I already know when r is 4, all the x's will cancel. So 8 choose 4, I'll go over to my calculator, 8 Choose 4 is 70 times 2 to the 4th, which is 16, times uh, 3 to the 4th. Eighty one, so that's yeah, positive eighty one. So seventy times sixteen times eighty one is our coefficient, ninety thousand seven twenty.